friends. I wanted to share with you today what Costco is offering in the outdoor gardening outdoor section. They have like all these furniture if you're interested in them, which are lovely. Um, that looks fantastic to me. A pergola and that one is offered at three to five hundred dollars off not sure what the original price is I wish they would offer that um, show the actual prices and this set looks really cute I like round things it looks very quaint <clears throat> and another thing that Costco is offering is this um, keyhole gardening um, planter it's $299.99 delivered after $50 off which looks fantastic and by the way this is where you can put compost and the compost will feed the worms and um, feed your plants in turn and then there's these kinds of planters and those are 25 to 50 dollars off parklet planters <clears throat> and they're offering a little shed if you're interested and outdoor uh, plants if you're interested in them and those are eight to ten dollars off of varying uh, kinds of plants T uh, stuff for camping and then here are the Vita Urbana 4x4 planter 2-pack for a hundred and thirty dollars delivered after thirty dollars off those look good too and an awning sun um, sunset awning or something like that and a little place set for children and if you're a prepper uh, here are some meats that you can purchase Probably at a pretty good deal. It says Chicago Steak Surf and Turf, thirty to forty dollars off. And Ready Wise Emergency Food Supply, one hundred and fifty. Uh, let's see, servings, and can last up to twenty five years. Um, so if you're familiar with MREs, it's probably kind of like that. It's dried, dehydrated food and you just rehydrate it to eat but if you're a prepper or if you're worried about the current state of things that's good to get and that is depending on the amount of the the buckets um, that you get it says ready wise emergency food supply 20 to 700 dollars off depending on how many of those buckets you purchase Next we have here the Fedco 2022 Tree, Shrubs, and Perennials catalog. And I never got Fedco catalogs before. I requested it sometime late last year and they waited till the new season to send it to me. So that's pretty efficient. And I really love their catalog. Although it is um, not like full of colors for the plants and the fruits and stuff like that. It is made on 100% recyclable paper and the whole catalog can just be, um, you know, shredded down or recycled and put in your recycle bin. And it's a really good catalog, chock full of information. It tells you how to read their catalogs, how they describe things, and it gives you a lot of tips like they have Fedco apple varieties and they tell you how to store them, how to cook them, if they're good for pies, and what seasons they um, fruit, and if they're good for fresh eating, and how to choose the right kind of apples for different situations, choosing rootstocks to grow them on, and it's chock full of information throughout the book, um, the catalog. And 
They show all the varieties that they may have and what the flavors are like for the different fruit. And currently I'm just searching for um, sections where, where can I taste that apple? And they will tell you where the nearest locations and the prices, um, they're all organically grown, non-GMO. And they tell you about fruit growing websites, plum curculio and how to prevent it on your trees, relative ripening dates, all kinds of useful information that if you didn't know, um, they provide it. Growing high bush blueberries, growing strawberries, all kinds of tips if you've never grown them before, which is really awesome for them to share as well as how to grow grapes and such. How to train grapes on an arbor, growing hops, pollination class clarifications, what kinds of pollinations that plants, um, that insects do, make space for native plants, it names all the native plants that you can grow with your fruit trees for your guilds, growing elderberries, special plants for challenging locations, growing rhubarb, and I love the pictures, the diagrams, growing mushrooms, how to grow them, planting guide for bare root perennials, I mean, for to include all that information in the catalog is so awesome. Staff reading picks, what kind of books are good for gardeners. Growing garden peonies. Native plants and the wild seed project. My bleeding heart cordial, there's a recipe there. Growing gladiolas. Facing of fruit trees, nut trees, and berries. I mean, for, for the catalog to sell you trees, that's really wonderful that they include all the instructions so that you would know top quality orchard and horticulture supplies that you can get. And then in the back, the index to find anything you need to find. So Fedco offers three different um, catalogs. So if you want particular types of plants, you would have to request them. So they have a catalog for bulbs, a catalog for trees, and a catalog for seeds and supplies. And that tells you everything there. And you can visit fedcoseeds.com slash trees. Um, this is not a sponsored video. I just think it's a fantastic company. And here is Fedco's 2022 Seeds and Supplies book. And it equally is as good as the Fruit Trees book. And Fedco's commitment to transparency and seed savers rights, which is awesome. I'm always pro seed saving. I'm for it. Um, I encourage it. It's great. It's a great way to acclimate your seeds to your environment, to your zone, and then your crops will grow best over the generations, um, over the seasons. Pest and disease remedies for all brassicas. Swede midge, not as cute as it sounds. So it teaches you about pests and how to deal with them. Some basic definitions of pollination. How to succeed with palleted carrot seeds. Soil testing and such. Quite interesting. Corn insect pest control. I mean, just the information alone is enough for you to keep the, the catalog because this is so awesome. Um, I've never seen that in a uh, catalog before. Saving cucumber seeds is easy and it tells you how. That's really awesome. 
how to cure gourds um, so that they can last throughout the winter. Season extending greens. So what to plant in the winter? I mean, this this seed catalog is chock full of information. Saving seeds for mustard greens. And so much more. And then I found a page back here. Vegetable planting guide. And I earmarked it, but it tells you all kinds of different information about different crops and how many seeds in a packet, how to how the spacing, the depth, the temperatures to best grow them, botanical index for herbs and flowers. And then uh, there's another section here that I found um flower planting guide. The different sorts of flowers they offer and their botanical name and the seasons in which they grow when to start them the temperatures the date number of days till they bloom just a wonderful catalog using cover crops to troubleshoot in the garden name to treat for apple borers Holistic Orchard Spray Kit Guide, and they give you a recipe on how to make a pest spray, which is really awesome, a natural spray. Everything in this book is organic, and um, let me try to find the page. I love their products as well. It's a good way to support this company. Oh, so they offer books, like good, good books um, on gardening. And here is their merch. I'm staring at their t-shirts. They have hats. There are um, sweaters. There are totes, carrying cases. So I highlighted the things I was interested in getting. And I am totally, totally infatuated with this seed catalog. I would also like to share uh, some hacks here. So this is uh, a covering for their chicken pot pie or their pumpkin pie at Costco. And so um, you could use this as your seed tray, your growing tray, your starter tray. And just puncture some holes in here, put some soil up to, up to there, fill it up, and then put your seedlings in. And then use the top cover, which is clear, to let the plants um, start to let the seeds start to pop up the plants, and they'll stay warm and humid. They won't dry out too quickly. And if it gets too warm during the daytime, you can just kind of make the lid go a little bit ajar, askew, and it'll give it some air. And before you know it, you'll have started some plants and you won't have to buy a seed starting kit. Um, just some ways that you can um, plant in a cheaper way than to, uh, especially if you're going to get these types of products and have these um, extra packaging. Another thing you can use this for is to collect seeds in them and and then winnow winnow the seeds. Um, you know, get all the the leafy or the outer parts off of your seeds, and then after after you winnow them, um, you can you know toss seeds or or something like that. But they're pretty useful. And another seed saving um, thing, another way you can do it is winnow the seeds in one of these. So like Costco has like the ready bake products such as the um, chicken alfredo and once you've baked it and eaten it then you can wash this and this is a totally great product and if you want to avoid plastics which ultimately break down and um, you want to limit 
Sorry, my video cut off. So I was talking about these aluminum foil containers. Um, so, so they're good for placing your plants. So you can put your plants here and another here, your house plants or your plants outside on a shelf that you're, and then if you save the lid, you can plant your, put soil in here, sow your seeds and put the lid on top and it'll keep it humid and warm so you can do your plant starts if you poke holes in here or another use for this is um, don't poke holes in there and put your house plants or whatnot here and then when you water your plants it'll save a little bit in there or you conversely you can put a little bit of water in there and then put your plants in so they can bottom water from the bottom instead of from the top which supposedly is healthier for your plants and another way you can use this is just to wash it out and reuse it for like when you want to bake some stuff like cinnamon rolls or or buns or something like that or so you can pop this back in the oven or you can pop it into your toaster with something on it and toast up some breads and whatnot um, you could also make yourself another like lasagna type dish or uh, some kind of Alfredo you can make your own chicken Alfredo in such a container and rebake it as well with some aluminum foil on top so these are actually very very useful and once you've you know messed it up enough um, you can just wash it and then throw it into the recycle bin so it has give it many uses it has give it many lives before getting rid of it if you um, don't want to spend money on growing trays and such.